Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 17 Franchise Mode for your Minnesota Twins. How you doing everybody? MN Twins 28 here. And we are on episode 4. I apologize for the shortness of the last video. It was like a 30 minute video. Um, I was going to do a few more things after that game we played against the Red Sox. I uh, had a family issue come up I had to look into, so I apologize for that. We're going to have an action-packed game, hopefully, today. Um, after I simmed and took care of some business, I took care of some business, and I simmed further along, halfway through the month of March. Spring, or not... Yeah, March. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm half. I simmed halfway through March, and the twins are not looking good right now. We are sitting here on the 15th of March at five and ten. So I haven't looked at all the stats. Who's doing what? Who's playing well or not? We're gonna look at that here in a little bit. I made a couple roster moves that I'm gonna show you guys. Where do I go here? Right here. Transactions completed. And I traded Justin Haley to the Red Sox. The Real Twins sent him back the other day straight up because he was a Rule 5. You can't do that in this game. So I just sent him straight up to the Red Sox for a low-level outfielder that probably ain't going to be sticking around. Just to say I, I made the move. So Haley's back with the team he started with and he should be with. Tepish got traded to Tampa for a relief pitcher. Probably the same thing as before. And then the rest, of course, you guys know the Phil Hughes trade and all the rest of them. As far as releases, where is it? They already, huh? Boston already designated Haley for assignment. I released Craig Bresblow, so he is off the team. I said I was going to, and I stood by it. So that's what's going on. Turley, I placed on outright waivers, and so it, I did Dylan Gee, but I did that when you guys were watching. So I, I believe they made it through. So let's quickly take a look. Let's see here. Dylan Gee. Dylan Gee. Dylan Gee. Oh, maybe he's not on there. Oh, must got cleared and declared. Oh, there he is. Okay, he made it through. He's in Rochester. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the lineup, see how everybody's doing. And it's not looking good so far. Dozier's only hitting a buck fifty nine. Granted, this is only spring training. Dozier's our starting base second baseman. I'm not gonna trade him. We know that. At least not for without a price. Maurer, two forty four. Sano is having trouble. Morneau's doing okay. 263. He's got a home the home run in the RBI. That's nice. Kepler, 256. Eddie Rosario is a hot hot bat. That's nice to see. I like Eddie. He's gonna stick around there. And I noticed his secondary positions are outfield and second baseman. In the previous road the show or in the previous MLB the show from last year, they only listed him as an outfielder. Now they got his other position, second base. That's where he originally started, was the second base. Second baseman, so that's nice to see because if I were to trade Dozier, if we don't have a second baseman of the future in place, I can slide Eddie Rosario into that second base job and then I can get another outfielder, which I have a plethora of. So that's nice to see that. Castro sucks. Ed Eduardo Escobar is doing pretty good, hitting the even 300. Buxton's struggling. He's not going anywhere, though. We know that. Polanco struggling, not not what I want to see. Jimenez doing okay. Vargas is hitting lower 200s, not good. He hasn't gotten any at bats. Grossman's hitting 217. Granite's doing well, 318. And if this continues to opening day between these two, Zach Granite's going to be your backup uh, first baseman or uh, outfielder, excuse me. And Grossman might be going to AAA. Garver, he's doing okay. He'll most likely be the backup starting catcher. You know what I mean? This guy, he's going to be sent down. I'm going to be doing a round of cuts here shortly. 
Polka, he'll be starting down in AAA. Danny's doing great. So right now it's between Escobar and Espinoza for that shortstop job. So that's it for position players. For the rotation, Santana, 318 ERA. He's 101. Barrios is doing pretty good despite getting shelled in the one start we saw him in. So looks like he's been getting his numbers back in his last start. That's good to see. Santiago, he's looking sharp. He's got a 1.8 ERA, but he's 0-2. But like I said, it's no biggie. It's just an exhibition. I just want to see how the numbers look. Jaime Garcia, not good at all. 0-1. Nine innings pitch, seven strikeouts. He's got a 10 ERA. That's not good. we got to improve on that. Big Sexy, he's 0-2, 9.64 ERA. That's not good, but he's most likely going to be a reliever anyways. Duffy, eh. Mejia, terrible. Gibson, middle of the road. And then the rest of the guys, I'm going to see if I, anybody stands out. Looks like Orhe is a 3.72. Rogers. 7.2 innings, and he's got no ERA. That's nice. That's interesting. Let's take a look at him. Alex Meyer, he needs a little more work. Kinsler is looking okay. And then the rest of these guys haven't had time yet, except for Romero, who's got one inning under his belt, and he's 1-0. One, one inning under his belt, one strikeout, so he's okay. Uh, I actually like this guy, but his... Overall needs some work, so he's probably gonna go down and work on that. So, um, so what we're gonna do now is I think we're going to rather than play another game. Let's see what's this. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sim. God, there's a lot of games against Tampa and Baltimore. Wow. Or not Baltimore, um, Boston. It's all the same teams. That's kind of unoriginal. We're going to sim. Heavy naked by the end of the song. Okay, I'm going to sim to here. And we're going to play that Pittsburgh game. Okay, so we, since that game, we went... One, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, we had a nice little tear here. So now we're 11 and 16. So we're doing a lot better. So we're going to play the Pittsburgh game here. And then I think we'll make some decisions after that. We're going to fly right through this game here because I want to get to the regular season. I want to be ready for the regular season in episode five. So we're going to make this fly so let's play the pirates we're gonna play a full game and i figured out you can choose individual items i figured that out i said that in one of the episodes previous episodes you can't do that yeah you can so i'm gonna change the hat i don't like the white or the red excuse me so i'm gonna wear the home hat we're on the road let's wear where's my blues there we go road perfect and I think it's stupid that there's only two fields to play in that's ridiculous minor leaguers classic oh there's a classic okay hey the old Metrodome which is now US Bank Stadium I have not been to US Bank Stadium I plan to it's gonna be awesome Turner Field a classic really they have that as a classic but they don't have tar or, um, Tiger Stadium that is just disgusting. Or old Comiskey Park. Those two should be in here. That's just ridiculous. Let's do this one. Something different. Whoops. I do not want rain. I'm tired of rain. It's still overcast. Okay. Let's see. I want to see somebody I haven't pitched yet. So... Let's throw. I kind of want to see what he's got, but he's 66 overall. 
Meyer needs to be changed. He's not going to be a starter. He's going to be a reliever. So I got to change that. Uh, oh, man. Oh, what the hell. Let's just start Santiago. And I think for this game, we're going to have the regular starters. We're going to get them up and going again. They're facing a right-handed pitcher, Garrett Cole. So that's good. I'm going to make one change, though. I'm going to put Danny Santana. Or Danny Santana. I'm going to put Danny Espinoza in there. So I am leaning more towards him being my starter at short. Boy, I got a lot of lefties in the lineup. We need a power hitting right right hander in a bad way. Buxton, Danny, Eddie's the stick. I'm gonna switch those two around. Actually, I think I'm gonna put them all up like that. Let's see. Dozier's not doing good. What's his speed? 72. Let's switch them around. I'm gonna put Espinosa at the top. Let's see, Kepler's hitting 230. Okay, I'm going to put Eddie there. I'm going to put Dozier fifth. Kepler sixth. There, that kind of mixes it up a little bit, a little better. Okay, we're going to do that. So, here we go. Twins and Pirates are Hector Santiago against Garrett Cole. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we do a little better than we did last time. It would be nice. I'm also considering doing a live stream we are on some games, so if you guys would like to see that, please hit the hit the comments League and let me know. Tonight it's a spring training matchup between the Minnesota Twins yep. and the I Pittsburgh like the Pirates. Pirates. I've always liked them. I love their uniforms. I love the color scheme: black and yellow and white. Awesome. Digging in, Danny Espinoza. So here we go. We but the Diamondbacks are probably my second now. favorite team beside the Twins. I really like the Diamondbacks. The Cubs, too. I was happy for them last year. Glad to see they finally won and got the monkey off their back. The goat off their back. Oh, that was hitting deep. That was allowed out, but nice. That was nice contact there, Danny. He gave it a ride. I like this acquisition of Danny Espinoza. I think he's gonna fit in nicely at short, and I'm gonna make a couple. Ra I'm, I'm gonna make a couple player switches, and um, I'm gonna move. Ah, uh, foul! I'm gonna move him over to short. So I'm gonna change his his primary position from second to short, and I'm gonna I'm gonna swap the two around because he's gonna be playing shortstop mostly. So, ooh, come on, Mauer. We gotta get it. But hey, a high fastball oh. really dangerous for a I don't know why we're not hitting good, but we gotta fix that. Well, there's the no. See, they give him some sliders here. Oh, there we go. Opposite power. Dropped. All right. Nice hit. Well, a couple things with that base hit right there by the three hitter. One. He thought he was going to get out of this inning pretty easy. And now you put him in a stretch. The middle of this lineup is no joke. Waited on it nicely. Very nice. I think that was a slider. Okay, here's Eddie the Stick hitting fourth. If he continues to hit the way he has been doing, he will be our cleanup hitter. I will put Eddie in the four spot. Nice opposite field hit for Eddie the man. All right. This lineup is dangerous. You know, he gets two quick outs, and then here comes the three hitter and the four hitter with back to back. That's a nice hit. Okay, we got Dozier now in the fifth spot. He's supposed to be our leadoff or number two guy, but he's been struggling a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Can't believe I did that. I was on it, and I fucking hit the button late. I got distracted. Oh, I hope they give me another one. Nope. Another one I'm not going to get another one like that. Oh, that. Kicking myself because then uh, I usually crush those. Base hit. No, right at somebody. Son of a bitch. But good contact. Good hard hit just right at somebody. That's too bad. That's good. I know this doesn't matter about runs. It's all about just getting the bugs out and all that. But. So a lot of 
well, a lot of promise is, going on right now. Uh, Espinoza hit it hard, just energy. right at somebody, but it was a good, strong hit. He's got potential. Sano going off his field, that was nice. Eddie Rosario going off his field was very nice to see, and he, Eddie's hitting the ball really well. Dozier, that was just an unlucky spot to hit it at. He hit, he hit that one hard. I should have crushed that first pitch, and I got distracted my, by my, just myself. So. Let's see. We'll give an ending here to see Santiago, and then I'll sim the rest of his. All right. Let's try the slide piece. He's probably going to... Most low shit. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, Buxton cut me off. <laughs> I guess as it should be. Um, I think Santiago, the way, if he continues to pitch well, he's most likely going to be a starter. So we got some interesting decisions to make here after spring training. You know, Matt, we won't see a whole lot of arguing with Jerry. Jerry I think after this game, I'm going to get it, get it, get it. Got it. All right. Nice. After this game, we're going to set the final 25-man roster, and we're going to sim through spring training. And then I'm going to – we're going to take a quick look at the Red Wings and the lookouts, and I'm going to do – Dermot, what I'm going to do with those two teams. I have an idea I want to kind of look into, but it might require some player movement. But we'll see how it goes here, because I, I have an idea. There's some players I really want to see develop well, but I heard if you send players you really want to get worked on and develop quicker, quicker, you should send him to double A instead of single. All right, strikeout. Or not single. Um, send him to double A instead of triple A. <laughs> so I don't know how much truth that is, but we're gonna. I'm gonna look into it. I want both teams, Rochester and Chattanooga, to do well. So I want to feel the good team. So it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna work on. It. I usually try not to think about that too much, but now I'm doing one, a, ro a franchise and I'm doing it for a viewing audience like you you guys. I'm taking this a little more seriously, so. Oh, cap. That was Buxton who beat it out. Speaking of Buxton, hitting his normal 189. Speaking of the Twins, what is going on with them right now? They are... It's the 28th today? Yeah, it's 28th. And they are freaking... They got swept by the Dodgers. I didn't think it would be that bad. I figured they'd win one or two games. Dodgers are good. I will give them that. Twins should have won two of those three games. Twins were ahead in two of those three games, and the Dodgers came from behind and beat us. Um, slider. So... Another grounder to second. So, Twins were competitive in the games, but didn't win either one of them. Now there's talk of the Twins just falling apart, rebuild mode, and I'm and a lot of fans are like, what the fuck? We were just a half a game out of first place not too long ago. Now you're talking about destroying the team? I think it's a bad idea. I don't think the Twins should. They got many games off of rival, division rivals that are doing bad. Including the Tigers, who are in cell mode right now. And the White Sox, who just completely suck right now. At least the Twins won't finish in dead last to the White Sox this year, like last year. That's for your base hit. Good job, Castro. I think the Twins need to just hold on and just go for it. Obviously, they're not going to win the division because Cleveland's just... Overloading the right side, but they pitch him They're going to win the division. But stranger things have happened. The Twins have done it before. They've come from behind and they've won the division. They did it to the Tigers many years ago. Came from behind and won the division. So anything's possible. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it. 
philosophy of hitting as a pitcher. I don't think the Twins should give up. I think they need to like make a move. Well, I had him reaching it There's talk there might be interesting getting Larry on Francisco Larry on back. I don't see that happening sure if they start selling guys off him. about having your mind made up you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the I don't know what they're going to do. They already got Jaime Garcia and they're already talking about trading him and there's like three days left in the trade deadline. Oh, look at that. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw to third. Nice. All right, now Santiago. That's an exciting moment for the American League pitcher. Look, he plays in a different league where the pitcher doesn't get the hit. Now he comes to enter the game and gets a base hit. That's a cool thing. That's awesome. Look at this hit right down the line. Nice job and nice base running by Castro, even though he has little speed. That's a great heads up play. All right, come on, Danny. Let's see if he can drive a run in. We need some, we need some runs here. Standing in now, Danny Espinosa. Yeah, that's a hook. So, yeah, I hope the real twins, I hope they don't sell. They got so many pieces. They're so close. Just need a couple pieces and then can make a run. Ah, shit. Right to second. Yep. Damn. That's too bad. We had a chance. Okay. So... Uh, if I swear too much, guys, I apologize. <laughs> Send me a message like, stop swearing so much. All right. Cool. Nice job, Santiago. Okay. Come on, Mauer. Let's see some power. Okay, here we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? I used the power button. I should have used hit. Mauer has no power. Stepping in and ready for another Miguel. shot. Miguel Sano, a base hit in his first trip. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Um, Third inning, no score to this. Come on, guys. We need a run here. We need some base runners. Oh, damn slider! I hate that pitch. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Oh man! Back, a swing and a miss. God, that slider is just nasty. Oh, he's gonna throw in the dirt. Not even touching it. Nope. And he'll try to get nice it. try. There, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at I'm two and two. Select it again. Nope. And now Fastball. Right up the middle. That a boy, Sano. Ah. It's not a home run, but I'll take it. I need well, we base runners. If he's got two hits in the hit column, something's got to be over the board. But hey, he'll take Eddie. two singles. Not All right, uh, I'm going to start putting subs in here. So uh, let's see who we got here. Who can play sh third? I have very many people. Vielma, he does play third. He's a 79 speed. Yeah, definitely. Compared to Sano, who's 43, 43 speed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll put Vielma in. I know it's early, but I want to kind of look at some of these guys. Number 12. Well, come on now and pinch run here. Number 12. Yeah, okay. And we know what Eddie's stick can do, but I want to see if he can drive some runs in here. Into the box now. Eddie Rosario. Come on, buddy. Pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Runners on first with one down. One of my favorite players here, and I hope he does well here. A little Ugh. Foul ball. What is with this guy in well, sliders? Right Jesus. Sliders, right sliders, sliders, sliders. Slider, slider, slider. Come on, throw something else, Three dude. Swing Fuck, and he drops the hammer. That's bullshit. <laughs> Riding in once again. Okay, Dozier. Let's see if he throws him a high fastball again. First pitch on a slider. Oh. Swinging a little blooper to center. Blooper. And, and he caught it. Yep. Play for the final out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors. Number 12. Okay, so Vielma's in third. All right, we're going to Hang on a second. I want to get a bullpen player ready. Let's get one of these guys down here that hasn't pitched much. Get them some time so I can see what they got here. Presley. 
Even though I'm not a big fan of his. This guy has pitched, but I don't know why he's not listed. Huh. Romero has pitched. Uh, let's go with... Huh. Hildenberg. Okay. Some movement now in the Minnesota Bull. Okay. Next half inning. All right. Oh, sack. Oh shit! And they just drove in a fucking run. And now we're up two nothing. Of course. Way to go, Hector. We'll move ahead now to the top of inning number All right, four. let's go to the bullpen. Hildenberg is Hildenburg. ready. Don't He's scheduled to, to come in. To All right. So we're losing once again here. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Enough with the fucking curve or sliders. Throw me a fucking. Oh. Throw me a damn fastball, like that one. Yeah. <laughs> One and one, here it comes. And right at somebody, of course. This is ridiculous. I can't get nothing going here. I got five hits and I have no runs to show for. They got, I don't know how many hits they got, but I'm sure it's more than what we got. <laughs> oh my God. Man, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, there's a hit. All right. Success. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. That a boy, Buxton. All right. Now batting. Okay, here's Castro. Jason, Jason wow, I Castro. first hit he hit. Oh, never mind. He had a sinker. See if they give him another one. Coming. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Close and it's Ooh, that was close. I think they were just waiting to see if Buxton would steal. One and oh pitch on the way. Fuck, that missed that one. And missed were even at one and one. Come on, in the dirt. Comes the one -one. The fastball down near I gotta be more patient shots. at the plate. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Hit weekly back to the mound. Damn it. Oh, they're going to go first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was almost like a sacrifice. The pitcher number 53. Yeah. <laughs> Santiago's not getting a chance. Hector Santiago. And I'm going to, in the off chance, I'm going to lose a guy here. I'm going to do a double switch. So let's see. We'll put Mitch Garber in. Number 47. Yep. We'll look to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Come on, Garber. Let's see what you got. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. No runs on six hits and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Come on. Slider. I knew it. Oh, nope, curveball. Matt, I like how he's pitching right here. He's got that runner at second base, and he just made two tough pitches. Now you make him chase the ball if you want to get him out. Make him chase. Hit hard on the ground for Harrison has it. Throw on to first. Ridiculous. Wow. We are just struggling so bad. One left for Minnesota. They trail it here two to nothing. All right. So what I'm going to do is. the next to hit. He's for one thus far. Oh, I guess I can't do a double switch. Shit. I was hoping to do a double switch. Oh, double switch. Yes. Do you want to leave Mitch Garvin in the game? Yes. It's like a position to put him in. Castro. All right. Good. All right. Let's take a look here at what Hildenberger can do. Oh, God. A slow delivery. And that's in there for strike one. All right. I want to speed this up because I'm pressed for time. So next half inning. See how he does. Ah, uh, infield single. And then another hit. And then a force out. 
Hey, they got out of it. No problem. Nicely done. Okay. Before I start that, bullpen. Let's put in Busnick. Are we being no hit, really? Oh, we're, oh we got six hits. A great job I don't know what they're talking about. Let's see what so we got far. here. Another opportunity ah! here, so we'll see if anything Why is he still pitching? Lay one down here, but he misses strike one. And now pitch on the way. Figured he'd be out by now. And now a bunt attempt here as he Ooh, gets oh, this one oh, down. Oh, 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 of course. In time and the bunt attempt is foiled. First baseman number seven. Ready once again, Joe, Joe Maurer. Maurer. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. That one's high. I'm not gonna worry about it. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and Come on, Maurer. No runs on six hits and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Soft Opposite power for Maurer. And that's into the outfield. That's your typical Run. Joe Maurer play. Very nice. That's one of those you're talking to. It's sit down ball, sit down ball. You watch. Nice job, Joe. Watching the left field and not get a good break. Thank you. A uh, very nice hit by Joe Maurer. Who do we got next? I'm going to let this one pitch. Take a pitch box, here. Number 12. Yes, he'll take Good a call. Ball one. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth. The he Elma. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one. Yeah, that's right. The Elma. Okay. Got one out here. Maurer's on first. One -oh pitch. Ooh. Oh, down the line and foul, of course. Of course. That fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Oh man, that was close. Oh. Right center. Coming on is McCutcheon. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder, number 20. Um, I'm going to make a pinch. A hit in two no, tries I'm going to so pinch far. hit Maurer because he's a... Yeah, he's a 46 speed. He's slower and shit. Adriaza. Does he play first? No, he does not. Escobar. Does not. He's a 58. Grossman's a 62. He does play. F no, he doesn't. Wow. Granite doesn't either. Pelka does, but he... He's not much faster than him. Morneau, he is absolutely 20. He's slower as shit. Eh, I guess Maurer's staying put. <laughs> uh, that's too bad. Come on, De Eddie. Oh, God. I'm too fucking early. Not too often you see a changeup come across it. 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Curveball. Wow. Close, but it's one and one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that. Ah, shattered a bat. For him. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Come on, Eddie. Come on, get through, get through. Oh, of course he doesn't. Ah, damn it. This is bull. I hit it hard and it's always hit somebody. This is getting ridiculous. Yes. Okay. We got to get something going here. This is ridiculous. It's frustrating. Good. Got out of it. Okay. Back to the bullpen. Righty, switchy, righty. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in. All right. I got. For some reason, it says this guy has not pitched yet. I know I used him once. But whatever. I think everybody else I've used. Yep. All right. So we use Presley in this one. Next inning. And then I'll go with Sharkoy's. Who is probably going to be uh, 
What the hell was that, Dozier? Oh, gravy. This guy's still pitching. It's spring training. How come he's not out yet? I don't get that. That must be because we were late spring training, so they're letting the pitchers go longer. Oh, what was... Oh, that was my fault. I hit the button and I didn't mean to. That was just my... Max stupidity okay Kepler he's playing right him I'm gonna put in Polka because him yeah I'm gonna put him in because if I put granite in 62 yeah I'll put Polka in because granite's gonna come in he's gonna play center because he's the faster of the three that are on the bench oh baby come on baby come on Go, go. Oh, come on. A lazy fly. I got all of that. Wow. That's just garbage. Come on, Zach. Let's see what you can do. This has been a disappointing game. I thought this, these guys would hit better than they have, and they can't even barely get seven whatever hits it is. Nice hit. Nice foul. Fouled it off. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keep him off balance. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Jesus. This is ridiculous. Number 31. We'll stick around I, I promise you guys, I'm not this bad. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just having trouble getting the hits. Andrew McCutcheon, eh, screw him. Nah, he's okay. I'm just pissed right now. <laughs> Call down on strikes. One, two, three inning. Good job. All right, Presley, nicely done. No, he is not. Okay, this guy will pitch next. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Uh, Morneau's going to get the hit. Nice. They do have a new pitcher. No, they do not have a new pitcher. Are you kidding me? Seventh inning, and he's still in. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me. Is there to put this one away and That's not what I want here. Number 47. Striding in, number 47 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen, as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Wait a minute. Holmes. Huh? Okay, I'm confused. Why? It still says 60 some pitches. Okay, I got it. I'm confused. They've gone through. <sighs> okay, they just didn't update the top. It says 60 some pitches, and it's not the same guy. It's Nova's pitch last inning, and now this guy. Okay, so. Downstairs, two balls up top, it says 65 pitches. It hasn't been changed. It's, that's a miss. That's an error. Okay. Never mind. Outside, three and no I was like, now. why is this guy still in? That's a four-pitch like walk, baby. Nice job, Garber. All right. Good job. Come on, Danny. Danny Espinosa. I'm going to give him another shot here. We're going to throw a change up. First pitch coming, here it is. Fuck. And a miss just behind a lively fastball. Great job of getting back in the zone with a hard fastball after the walk. Splitter. I think he might have let a little frustration out with that pitch. Oh, God. I had it changed and I split to, like to splitter. To pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Here's the 0-2. Ooh, that'll be caught. See? <laughs> a little more to the right, I would have had a fucking hit. 
scurry back. Oh. Think twice about trying to now they're bringing in another so picture. Here's Maurer. Okay, now they change it. So they only it only changes on the top there where it says pitches. If I actually. Oh, Joe, what are you swinging at? It looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Action now in that pirate bullpen as a left-hander starts to heat up down there. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Right up the middle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. All right. Barely got a hit, but I'll take it. Who's this, Vielma? Oh. All right. I'm going to do... Uh, oof. Can Jorge play third? Yes. I don't really don't want to put him there. Oh man, this is tough. Oh, Escobar's got a better shot at getting a hit than. But I want to see what the kid can do. I got. I gotta trust the kid. I gotta trust the kid. Come on, come on, kid. I'm gonna try contact hits. I'm not gonna do a power. Number 12. Good boy. Come on, Vielma. Let's see what you got. So far, for one Depending on how well out. he does. He's doing he's doing good. He may start. He's going to be in the minors. I may put him in triple A, depending on what his actual overall is. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Aha. Swing, no swing, says the home umpire. Who's on deck? Oh, we can right, get that Rosie. That would be sweet. Deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Oh, damn it. Right at him, and I pop. Oh, that sucks. That was such a good hit, a hard hit. Shagwa. That's ridiculous. We had a golden opportunity. That's disappointing. Strikes out. Walk. Walk. And another run score. Oh, no. Runner did not score. Oh, one run did, yes. Okay, so they got one run. We'll look ahead now and pick this one back up in the top of inning number eight. You guys are not making this easy for us. Eddie Rosario. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning Mahia. It's terrible. We got a left hand uh, switch hitter. Oh, Shears, Belial. I haven't seen Belial. Let's, yeah, let's put Belial in. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Eddie. Come on, guys. We need some runs here. Ugh. I need some discipline. I'm freaking swinging at everything. In the dirt. They're scared of Eddie because he's the hot, hottest hitter on the team right now. He's hitting 373. Yeah, they're scared of him. As he should be. Come on, buddy. One and one. I think you're going to go up and inside here. Oh, they were up, but it was not inside. Oh. oh, man. He took a swing and a half at that one. Damn it. Some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. Fastball swung on. This is ridiculous. I'm seriously, I'm not this bad. I do not why. No, I understand why these guys are teeing off on us. Osuna is into the ball game as well as he takes over out in right. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is fouled at the plate. Now playing center field, number 13, Danny Ortiz. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ah. Why are they booing? They're winning. Oh, that was just bullshit. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Stepping in, number 31. I'm just going to keep. Here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. They won't let me. I need a hard hit. Ball. The balls I hit hard, they get fucking crushed right at somebody. Now that change up's in his head, the rest of the at bat. Oh, what is that? Come on. So he finds himself down one and two now. 
Oh, man. He just tied him up in knots right there. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. There's that tight slider right there. Just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But and, of course, right at somebody. I make good contact, and he gets hit at somebody or flied out. Jeez. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher coming Quinn. on, and it looks to Number be the right-hander, Matt Belial. It looks like you're right. Well, at least this one's going faster than the last ones, but it's still the same freaking outcome. Oh, God. Of course he gives up a double. And, of course, he gets a single. And then an infield single. you got to be kidding me. Ugh. Belial, you suck. Who do I got coming up here? Let's get Mahaya. Yeah. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Espinosa. But he'll put nice. this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. That a boy Vielma. Stepping into the box. See how we doing here. Ortiz. And we'll see what he can do they're here. Warm, but they're not ready. Let's do a mom so visit this year. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. My, he is ready. I'm gonna bring him in to face the lefty, and I'm gonna do a double switch too. Yep. Uh, Zach Granite's on deck. Shit. Uh, let's put uh, Pelka. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the Wait a minute. He didn't let me choose a guy. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Where? Hold on. I don't want Belial in right field. What the hell? Why did they do that? That was weird. They didn't let me choose anybody. They just made the change. That's dumb. Robbie Grossman is into the game. Okay, now I want to go back here. He takes over and right. I want to put. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right, we're good. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And get out of this. You know we're gonna give up two more runs, and it's almost over here. Aha! Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And Maurer will look up and put nice it away. Nice job. And that ends the inning. Come on, guys. We need some runs here. On from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Digging in, number eight. And then what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has granite with a hit. All right, that a boy. Yeah, I would imagine it feels to get something going here. Come on, in this one. Balls on the outside half. You go with the pitch. Old school textbook hitting. Stayed with it and drove that ball in the shortstop head. All right. Uh, yes. If I can get to Maurer, I'm gonna put Morno in for a shot at crushing one. First pitch of the at bat. Ah, he popped it. Right Nothing. Osuna moves over. One out. Nothing but a lazy pop-up. Grossman, your throat, your shit. Digging He's made my decision. Again. Number 47. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now we'll take a moment here at home yeah, I'm gonna, as he asks for time. I'm going to bring in Jimenez. See what he can do. I doubt he is going to do anything. Be nice to get a, at least one run back. How did I miss that? That was right down Broadway. Where's my timing? Where does it tell my timing? It doesn't say my timing. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God, that's just typical way to end it. 
baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home That's crowd, disgusting. Fans cheering, you're I'm sorry, guys. That was bad. All right, so we lose in a shutout, five nothing. So I got some. We got some major concerns in order here. I mean, I'm hitting. Some guys are hitting it hard, but they're hitting it at some at people. We got. We seriously, we are in trouble for as far as power. We have none. Right, Sano hasn't shown up yet. Rosario seems to be the only one. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to sim to the last game. Okay, so. Okay, so it looks like spring training is officially over. Twins finished 14 and 17. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through this real quick. Santana. 3 and 1. Barrios, 1 and 1. Barrios looks good. Santiago's 1 and 3. Jaime Garcia, not good. 5.54. Cologne, not good. Duffy, eh. Mejia, no. Gibson, no. Belial. Postures. Jorge looks pretty good. He's a starter, but he's a 64 overall. He's probably going to go down the minors. Tyler Rogers. Alex Meyer is going to be uh, in the pen where he is right there. Kinsler is a closer. Hildenberger did okay in his one game. He did good. Presley, it looks like I'm going to have to hang on to him. Romero, he is a starter. He's going to go down for some work. He's going to go down. So, yeah, I think the bullpen. Presley. All right, I'm going to give Jaime, even though Jaime Garcia did terrible, I'm going to give him a shot. Cologne, he's just so damn old. I really don't trust him to be a starter. I'm going to make him a long man. So Tyler Duffy's going to get that other spot. I'll put him there. Two righties to start. Lefty, righty, right. So there's your starting rotation. Santana, Barrios, Santiago, Duffy, and Jaime Garcia. And then the pen, I'll clean that up a bit. I think I'm going to go... Yep, Gibson's uh, Mejia's gonna go down the minors, and then uh, after that, I'll let you guys know. I do know Alex Meyer's gonna stay there. I gotta switch him. I'm gonna edit him, and he's gonna be a reliever from now on. Setup, even though he's got five, four pitches, but I think he's better suited for the bullpen because he he'll start off good and then fall apart. So he's better for short short term help, like an inning or two. Kinsler's the closer, and where's I don't see Glenn Perkins. Oh, that's right. He's not on the 40 man. Okay. All right. So our lineup. Dozier was absolutely garbage, but it's spring training. It doesn't matter. So we got to figure out the backups. Escobar, 322. Buxton. Yeah, we know that. Okay. So Polanco, 239. Jimenez, 246. Vargas. That guy's going down. Granite, that was a nice hit he had in that game against Pirates. I liked it. He's got speed. He's faster than Grossman. And he's small. He's lower overall, but Granite has, well, they have equal potential, but Granite's younger, I believe. 24. Yeah. And I like Granite, and he's left-handed option. Grossman's a pinch hitter. Maybe I'll go with both of them for the... Because I like having... The way I do things is I have two out, uh, two backup outfielders, two backup infielders, and a catcher. So I'm thinking right now it's going to be... Okay, I want to see Danny Espinosa. Ooh, he did 208. Ouch. Fioma did good. Wow. Interesting. I'm going to send, even though he did better than Espinosa, I'm going to send Vielma down for a little more development. I think he can get there. He's a 
Uh, he's a C potential. We'll see how he does. If he st continues to do well down there in AAA or AA, wherever I send him, we'll bring him back up. Danny, I'm going to see how he does. I'm going to monitor him. Escobar is going to be our starter at short. So I think we're going to go with Danny Espinoza. Oh, Garver. Yep, Garver is going to be our backup catcher. And then these two guys are going to stick around as our backup outfielders. And then I think for infielder. Oof. Vargas is trash. Yeah, I'll stick with Polanco because he can play second and third. So it'll be Polanco, Espinoza, Garver, Grossman, and Granite will be the bench. And then everybody else is getting sent down. So that's how that's going to look. So I think we're going to stop there. I'm going to work on forming the 25-man roster and also the AAA rosters. And in the next episode, you guys will see what I did to the rosters. And then we'll have opening day. So if you like this episode, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time for MLB The Show 17, Minnesota Twins franchise. Episode number five. Till next time, peace out. Go Twins.